Giving a test to a group of students, the grades and gender are summarized below. If one student is chosen at random, find the probability that the student was male. So out of this group, there are 17 male students out of 56 total. So 17 over 56 will give us the probability of 0 0.304. Find the probability that a student was male and got an A. So male and got an A. There's nine of those out of 56. So when you have an and probability with a contingency table, you're looking at the intersection of two groups. Now, you may think you need to do a multiplication of some sort because and tells us to multiply things. And that is possible to do here, but it's much simpler just to think in terms of the intersection of those two groups. Or we do have to think in terms of adding things and be careful so that we don't double count anything. So the probability that a student was male, there's 17 males. Uh, there are 26 that got an A minus nine in the intersection of those two, out of 56, that gives us 0 0.607. If one student is chosen at random, find the probability that the student was male given that they got an A. So if we're given that a student got an A, that restricts us to this group here. So from that group only, the probability of a male is 9 over 26. So whenever you have a given probability, that's when the denominator gets reduced. And that's the only time. It's 0.346. And I just realized I didn't convert uh, part B to a decimal, so 9 over 56.161.